Welcome back to Cheddar's opening bell. With so much emphasis being placed on the coronavirus crisis, it could be easy to forget about the many other health issues that we now face. But now is the perfect time to discuss those issues, especially because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And you may not know that research uh, has shown that black women are almost 40% more likely to die from breast cancer than their white counterparts. One group working to help tackle this issue with the help of a Grammy Award winning artist. And joining us now is singer songwriter, actress and philanthropist Mary J. Blige, along with Linza Goler Blount, the CEO of the Black Women's Health Imperative, to talk all about their efforts to encourage women to schedule their annual mammograms with their program, The Power of Sure. Um, ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Um, Mary, I want to start with you. Can you tell us about your role as a spokeswoman for this campaign to help educate women on the importance of annual breast cancer screenings? Well, um, my role is exactly that, to help educate women, black women, on the importance of, of breast cancer screening. Um, the importance of a mammogram, um, the fact that 40% of black women are likely to die from breast cancer, then White, white or Hispanic women. Um, I had an aunt who died from breast cancer. Um, I believe she would still be alive today if she had access to this information of how important a mammogram is or if she had access to the proper health care. Um, when we were growing up, we didn't, no one spoke about this. No one spoke about breast cancer or mammograms. So, you know, just like me, you know, there's some little girl in the world with, or, or teenager in the world or woman in the world without, without this information. And so my job is to get this word out about how important this is, um, a mammogram is, and, and just loving yourself and, uh, you know, from the inside out and understanding that this is a gift and your health is your wealth. Um, Linda, can you tell us a bit about the Black Women's Health Imperative? Um, what exactly is it um, and what are you guys hoping to accomplish? The Black Women's Health Imperative is the only national organization focused on the physical, emotional, and financial wellness of, of black women. Um, 38 years ago, we formed um, to talk about the importance of taking care of, our, of, of each other, but most importantly, of self-care. And screening mammography is, in my opinion, one of the highest forms of self-care. And the partnership that we have with Hologic and with Mary J allows us to bring life-saving information about breast health, breast cancer, and screening mammography to black women across the country and to help them make the best choices for their health so that we can bring these rates down because there's just no reason for black women to die at such high rates from breast cancer. Um, Linda, it seemed like we were just as a society making so much progress when it came to breast cancer prevention. And then you have the COVID pandemic, which kind of just put everything um, at a standstill. Are you seeing fewer black women going for mammograms just within the past few months um, because we're under so much pressure and everything else and just fear of going to a doctor's office in general right now? We are. Unfortunately, um, mammography is down, um, and we really need to make sure that, that we change that. Mammography centers, imaging centers are taking every precaution now during COVID-19 to make sure that, that patients are safe and their staff are safe. So there's no reason not to go. We encourage women to call their physician or call their screening center to find out what they're doing and to make that appointment. Because um, the last thing we need is to delay screening even further, which means that if a breast cancer is detected, it's detected later when it's less easily treated. Uh, Mary, this initiative is called the Power of Shore. Can you tell us a bit about what the power part stands for there? Um, prevention, own your health journey, wellness, early detection results. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, um, what drew, sorry, I, what drew, very straight answer. What drew you to this cause specifically? And if you could just get one message out there to women, uh, what would it be? What drew me to the, the cause is the fact that a lot of women are afraid or maybe ashamed or don't, you know, have any knowledge of, of the fact that there is something that can save their life. Like I said, when I was younger, they, they, they didn't speak about this or mammogram or, you know, um, breast cancer. One of your aunts just up and died or a family member just up and died. So 
um, this is important to me to get the word out so people can have the information so they can understand that a mammogram could save their lives or this, this, this information could save their lives or the black health imperatives can, um, can save their lives or Hologic can save their lives or Ratty, you know, just, this, just to get the message out about how important it is to live and how your, how your health is truly your wealth. If you don't have any health, then you, you're done. So uh. I, I've learned the hard way, you know, you have to take care of yourself in this life. And that's what the word is for me. I don't really have anything that big or spectacular, but life is big and spectacular to me. And, 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 and I support it. And I want black women to understand that I'm in this fight with them. Absolutely. Well, such an important cause. Mary J. Blige and Linda Goler-Blout, thank you both so much for joining.